Okay, hey, this is uh, Thomas with Liberty Fox Defense. I'm going to do another recording of the spring kits on a uh, single six 22 long rifle with a 22 uh, magnum cylinder. <clears throat> Last time I did this one, and <clears throat> this is the uh, spring kit. 08066506 okay so I'm gonna just chamber check these okay that one and now this one and I don't know if you can see or hear the difference it's just a world of difference so these spring kits really do help out a tremendous amount so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and punch through this hole here and push on the other handguard push it off Okay, so we're going to put these together, so we keep them together, right, put those there, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and take this uh, cylinder off, I'm going to open the gate, depress this, pull out the rod, pull out the cylinder, okay. So make sure this spring, uh, you know, kind of test things out before you take it apart. So what we're going to do is cock the hammer, grab a punch, grab the punch right there, release the hammer, and then I'm going to wrestle this out. And it shouldn't be that difficult. Looks like it wants to go to the left a little bit. You see that? Yeah. I think it's these springs right here that are kind of getting in the way. So I'm going to take those off real quick. I might be making it worse. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. That may work. So I'm going to put those back on. Gunsmithing is all about finesse. Okay, this is the hammer spring. Whoa, it's about off here. See that? So, yeah, ease it off. It goes into the bench, that's fine. Okay, so we got our default spring. Right, and this little capture thing is going to go just like that. them back okay so we've got our default spring we've got this got that we've got our punches so let's go ahead open this real quick okay so we got our 17 18 19 base pin latch. I think this fit an older model. So I'm going to go ahead and put those off to the side. I'm going to be putting these two in. Okay. So I've got my little book here.
of the right spring length for this single six. 22, the bear cat. Okay, here we go. So, where's my tape measure? So for a single six, about three inches and the spring is about three and a quarter so we're only taking off a quarter inch I was thinking it was a third of an inch so I'm gonna get, a, get my safety glasses on here and my marker Dremel. You could probably use wire cutters, but man, that would be tough. Okay, I see. Okay, we'll let that cool off. Set that over there. In the meantime, we'll start get into this here. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it's worth it's a little small. recording okay so this is the upper left so I'm gonna set that over here upper left this one's gonna be I think the long one the punch screw as I like to call it Same size. So basically we're going to take this bottom frame off. Okay. So now the barrel's pointed that way. We'll put these in a certain order. Okay, this is the shorty. Put that up there. See, this is the long one. That is the long one. Now I'm going to inspect this because the last one is kind of marred up a little bit. Yeah, see? Right from the factory 
those threads. So I'm holding it like this. Right, so I've got this one here, that one there, and then I'll set that one right there. Slightly different size. Okay, <clears throat> hold on. Okay, I'm gonna just separate this just a little bit here. Okay, so I've got this spring here, and I've also got one underneath. Okay, we got that, and we got this apart. We keep that spring in there. Okay, now we're gonna remove this spring. Set that guy over there. Trigger spring, reduced power, 30 ounce. Ruger single action series revolvers. Awesome stuff. Okay, so looks like it goes in there just like that. Okay, we've got our punch here. Old trick I learned, just use some tape. the right orientation. Keep this one out. Put this one in. on there. Default spring over there. Okay. That spring, we got that spring, and this spring. So this spring right here goes on there. Okay. So I need you this spring. Okay, so that's good. So this is springy, so that's good. And then I'll do this one.
this one gave me a little bit of trouble last time and I just needed a bigger punch to kind of center it in there. So we'll see if that works this time. See it's kind of being pretty stiff. Just going to loosen up a bunch of the ends here. That's right, I totally forgot. So this punch right here, watch it go to the side, right? Then your screw's not gonna go in there. So if you kinda manage it both sides with your fingers, take this punch out, put this punch pan back in, should be good to go. See that? It's going in like flint right now. No big resistance. Okay. Tighten these up just a little bit. Okay. And now, got these two screws. They're the same size, but I'm going to put them in the same hole. sounds like on the camera. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. There's something red on that. Okay, I'm not going to tighten those all up until I get it all together. Okay. That guy up there. Okay. Okay. Now I think I'm going to tighten the rest of these things down. I need to go grab some helper and the rose rosewood grips and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the rosewood grips here. I mean this little screw in here is not got I mean, a lot of strength. You don't really want to torque on those too much. So we'll set that there for now. Hopefully this spring cooled off enough. I like to put the sharp part this way because I'm going to be messing over here. Okay, what I need you to do is to put punch. 
through there. Okay. With this, like that. Okay. Good. Okay, see how we've captured that spring. <clears throat> now, this kind of has a little neck to it, and that ball goes on top. That ball is going to go right in there, okay? So, what we do is kind of feed that in here. This one was a little hard to take out. So, I'm guessing it's going to be a little hard to put in. That will use the thicker punch because I can wrench on it just a little bit. Okay. Good. Got that in there. Like that. Okay, I'm going to give it some tension to the bottom of the grip here and pull this out. Watch it. Okay, let's see how this. Okay. Snapped in there pretty good. That feels really good. Uh, that might be a little on the light side. Maybe it's just because we got the cylinder in there. But we won't know that we shoot it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these rose handle grips on. Okay, I'm going to put the screw on the left because it went in the left. Oh, okay. So you're wrenching through that wood. So you, I guess you could really wrench on it. These factory ones. Are the same. I assume they're aluminum threads though. <clears throat> okay. So, let's see if these things go on. That's all I needed. Thank you for your help. Okay. So I'm going to jam it in the corner there. And have a little bit of faith here. I don't know. Should I fire it before I put these on? Because if I have to take that spring out. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> wasn't expecting that. I pushed this uh, roll pin through. A little too much. Okay. Same drill. Same thing, but this time this time and then try to put this in. Okay. What do I have? Got an old piece of leather here. I don't need to come back into this thing. That is going to be a little bit tough. Ah, 
See, that wasn't so bad. Okay. I don't want to put the uh, cylinder on because once I do that, it's a gun. Right now it's gun parts. No way it's going to fire like this. Okay. Everything seems to be in order. I'm going to mark this one with tape so I kind of remember it. on the bottom. This one's not tested, not validated, and uh, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and put this thing back together. You'll notice these numbers here are it's serial number so when you're swapping the 22 mag <clears throat> and the 22 long rifle, you know what? That gate it's kind of stiff oh interesting okay let's go ahead and put this thing back together So my cylinder's floating in there. When I get it all aligned in here, this rod should go forward. Okay. okay, now it is a gun. Got that pin all the way in. Still unloaded. That's so amazing. Yeah, I think <clears throat> this one's a little lighter strike. You know, if you cut on this spring, you know, here instead of here, that could make the difference. So, hopefully, it's not a problem. So, I'm going to go ahead and put, you know, I got a lot of these extra springs. So, how many of these kits have I done? I did two for my Vaqueros, I did two for my last set of single sixes and these single sixes so that's six sets and you know there's three springs so the 18 something spring that I'm probably never going to use so we'll get these going cowboy shoot tomorrow I used a laser I put the laser oops in the muzzle and put in my vise and I adjusted both of these so just have to confirm zero but man they are they are beautiful so these should be in uh, the Thomas family forever family heirlooms awesome guns so thanks for tuning in to Liberty Fox Defense. Hope this was a helpful video for you. Signing off. Thank you.